Hi everybody and welcome back to Music with Meg's Violin School. Today I'm going to be going over some quick tips to help you read music on the violin. Everybody follow me, it's music with Meg. Now I've already made a few videos about reading music so if you do want to watch those you can click here or in the description down below and they will give you an overview of how to read musical notes in the treble clef. But I thought I would show you some little tips to help you when you're just learning the violin to recognize which notes correspond to which fingers on the violin. By now, hopefully you know the four strings on the violin, G, D, A, and E. And hopefully you know that those are written on music like this. You can tell E because it's in the top space. A is in the second space. D is in the space right at the bottom of the stave or staff. And G has two lines on top of it right underneath the stave or staff. Notice that all of the open stringed notes are in a space. G is in a space, there's no line through that note. D is in a space, A is in a space, and E is in the space. This tells us that every time we play an open string and we're reading the music, we know that it's gonna be in a space. That's really helpful. We also know that our pattern of notes goes from space to line, to space to line, to space to line. So. That means that, let's take A for example, open A is on that second space. That means that our finger one, which is B, is always going to be in a line. That means finger two is in a space here, C sharp. And finger three, D, is in a line. So on every string, the open string is in a space and the finger two is in a space. And on every string, fingers one and three are in lines. Even if you don't know the names of the notes, hopefully that gives you enough to be able to start recognizing whether you're playing a finger one, two, or three on the open strings. If you can recognize your open strings, and hopefully by now you can, that can really help you to identify what note you're playing. For example, We've got A here on the second space. Now, if there's a note below that on the stave or staff, you know that that note is either going to be on the D or the G string. It's not going to be any higher than A. So that can really help to eliminate those strings and tell you, okay, I'm now playing a note on the G string. Now I can see if it's in a line or a space, if it's a space, it's gonna be D or it's gonna be F sharp. If it's in a line, it's gonna be G or E. You can also think if A is on that second space and we're going down by one step, then that's got to be our finger three because it's just one step down from A. Let's put that to the test. I'm going to show you a few little musical sentences and let's see if we can read them together. Here's the first one. See if you can figure it out and have a play on your violin, and then we'll do it together. So we're beginning on the second space, which is A. We're then going up by one. So that's the, fir that's the first finger. And what's next? Are we going up or down? It's back down to A. And finally, we've got the next space up from A. So if it's a space, we know it's going to be our finger two, which is C sharp. Good, so that one goes A, B, A, C sharp. Great. Let's do another one. Here's the music. See if you can figure it out by yourself and then we'll do it together. Are you ready? We've got G, and then up to, that's D, and then this next note. Now, it looks a bit tricky to figure out, but 
all you need to think is, is that higher or lower than that D that we've just played? It's lower. And is it lower by a lot or is it just lower by a step? It's lower by a step. It's in a line, which means it's finger three on G, which is C. And then we're doing, are we in a space or a line? A line, so that's not going to be our finger two, it's not going to be our open string G, there's only one other note it could possibly be, that's A. And again, so we've got G, D, C, A, finish on G. And again. Great, let's do one more. Here's your music. See if you can figure it out and then we'll do it together. Have you got it? Let's begin. Now, what is this note? It's not one of our open strings, but if you figure out where is A, A is in that second space, is it above A or below A? It's below A, it's the first space so it's not D and it's not A. There's only one space it could be and that is F sharp, finger two on the D string. Then we're going to a line. It's one step down, it's finger one, E. Back to F sharp. And then where are we going from there, up or down? Up by two, so we're onto the next string which is A. So, F sharp, E, F sharp, A. Great job everybody. Hopefully that gives you just a couple of starting points to help you read and recognize musical notes on the violin. Do leave me any questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Happy practicing and I'll see you next time. Bye.